I grew up in London, Ontario uh, as a child of Jamaican parents and uh, they were always very, very uh, supportive of my want to be a musician. Um, you know, they sent me to music lessons, woke me up on a regular basis to make sure that I was practicing when I was supposed to practice. Uh, I was a piano student at the time. And, uh, you know, when I said to them that I wanted to go to, to university for music, they were completely supportive of that and I really appreciate that. Uh, I will say that when, I, when it was time for me to go to, to university, I really was not a great student at that time. I remember I took my bachelor's degree was in jazz voice at, uh, at York University and it was a great program, I really loved it, but I just took such a long time getting through it and at times felt as though I was never going to finish that program. Um, but I, I made it and, you know, it was through the, the encouragement of, of my teachers and my peers that, uh, that I continued on and, uh, you know, at the end of my bachelor's degree, my, uh, my choral teacher uh, came up to me and, and asked whether I might be interested in, in doing conducting and I said, yeah, that, that actually would be great. And so she encouraged me to apply to the Masters of Conducting program at York University. I did that and then finished that degree uh, with, with a lot more uh, efficiency than I had done my bachelor's degree. And then I moved to Montreal about three years ago to complete a, a Doctor of Music in Choral Conducting and here I am. I wanted to be a musical director and conductor after, you know, doing some work in high school and uh, I was asked to put together a band in high school. Uh, so I did that and got to be the person in front waving my arms around and, you know, maybe wasn't the best music director at the time, but I had a lot of fun and that sort of really inspired me to continue to, to go to school for, for music and to to have more opportunities to music direct, do internships, um, any time that I could, you know, get in front of an orchestra or a choir or, or a theater ensemble, that's that's what I wanted to do. It's been a really important part of my life, and I, it and it still is. I think the advice that I would give to a young artist um, who is studying music uh, is just to be easy on yourself to remember that, I mean, me, myself, I didn't come born like this. I wasn't, you know, born knowing everything about music. I still don't know everything about music. It's something that you have to be patient with. You have to give yourself time to learn. And I think that if you can just remember that we are, we are never our complete product. We are always a work in progress. I think that you'll have, you'll have good luck.